Welcome to the EXP Group discussion on ACCA Paper F2. Today we want to turn our attention to the topic of cost classification. The attempt here is to identify and to define costs according to different categories um, and, and, and on a common basis then be able to move forward and understand how these costs um, behave because understanding behavior is uh, provides the key to being able to plan and budget costs uh, going into the future. Let's have a look at some of the ways in which we can um, organize our thinking about costs. Let's start with the uh, distinction between production and non-production costs. Now keep in mind that the production costs we're talking about are all costs connected to the production of goods, both direct and indirect. That would mean capturing as well overhead, uh, production overhead costs. When we speak of non-production costs, then we're talking about the kinds of costs that are incurred after the production has taken place and goods are put into inventory. Now costs can also be broken down into their direct and indirect groupings. Direct costs uh, as we say, costs that are directly attributable to a product. In the production environment, for example, we would have direct costs that would be direct materials, direct labor, and other sorts of uh, direct expenses, production costs that can be directly attributable. In distinction to direct costs, to be indirect costs, anything else that can't be uh, directly attributable. How's that for a negative definition, if, if you will. Uh, indirect costs um, can also be understood as overhead costs. We will come back to uh, this distinction when we talk about um, absorption costing uh, in a later uh, discussion. Then we have another way of thinking about costs, and that is to distinguish between fixed and variable costs. So fixed costs remain constant regardless of how much uh, we are producing, level of activity. And variable costs are those costs which uh, change in proportion with the amount of output. Now again, these groupings, fixed and variable, are sort of pure cases and the candidate will be well aware that many, many costs tend to have uh, a hybrid nature, something we would call mixed costs. And mixed costs are costs that contain both a fixed and a variable element. Uh, as a simple example, my telephone bill has a fixed monthly charge to it, which is not connected to the volume of usage. And in addition, I have a variable cost element, which varies with the number of telephone calls that I make. Another um, cost category or another way in which we can think of costs is step costs. That means costs that remain fixed over a period, over a, a range of uh, activity level, they remain constant, and then they jump up to a new fixed level. Um, if certain investments are made, for example, to increase the capacity of the production. Um, another type of step cost would be, uh, which is typically cited, would be uh, supervisor salaries. If we have one supervisor who's um, looking after five or six workers in, in road construction, for example, then that's a fixed cost up to a point. When we expand the business now and we have 10 or more workers who are uh, uh, actually out working on, on projects, then we may find that we have to increase the number of supervisors to maintain roughly the proportion of workers to supervisor and therefore our supervisor's costs will go up in one step to 
cover the cost of a second supervisor. And again, that will remain fixed going forward um, for a given range of activity. Now, again, one wishes to remind the, uh, the candidate in, in this paper that uh, very few costs fall into uh, pure categories here in the world is much more complicated. So this is just a conceptual way of thinking about these costs, seeing how we can organize our um, the way in which we um, categorize them with a view to be able, being able to anticipate and plan for how costs will behave depending on how we structure our business and what level of um, output we, we wish to pursue. Thank you. Now, as a short appendix to our discussion of cost classifications, let's just take um, a numerical example in connection with mixed costs. And suppose we have the following situation. Suppose we had at different output levels ranging from 1,000 units to 1,600 units, associated dollar costs ranging from $250,000 to $370,000. We're going to um, try to define now what the relationship is between output and cost levels. The way we could do this is to take the maximum and the minimum um, cost levels, that would be here and here, 370,000 less 250,000, that would be equal to $120,000 difference from the low point to the high point. And this would be associated with a range, an interval equal to 1,600 units minus 1,000 units or 600 units. In other words, what we could do is say $120,000 uh, costs go up by $120,000 over a range of 600 units, which means that we effectively can calculate a cost of $200 per unit. This is known as the variable cost element in the cost relationship here, the output cost relationship. Now, if we take the $200 per unit as our variable cost, and we say that 1,000 units multiplied by this variable cost of 200 plus what other, whatever fixed costs may exist in the relationship should equal total costs of $250,000. The algebra tells us that the fixed cost element is therefore equal to $250,000 minus the variables, 200,000, or $50,000. If the candidate wants to uh, test that relationship at the maximum level of output, uh, we should come up with the same uh, fixed cost amount. Let's try it. 1,600 units of output times the same variable cost per unit, $200, plus the fixed costs should equal $370,000. If we solve for the fixed cost in the second equation, we come out with 50000 again. So now we know that the fixed cost really is 50000 in both cases. So now what we have done is we have applied the so-called high-low method. We've sort of connected the dots with a line running from the low observation to the high observation and extracting from these numbers both the variable cost per unit, $200 in this case, and the fixed costs, um, which is contained in the total costs, or $50,000.